Hello and thanks for joining us here at the Asprey. Welcome to me and my golf TV. I'm Andy Proudman. And I'm Piers Ward. And today we're going to be talking about the swing changes that Justin Rose has done with his coach, Sean Foley. Let's help you take charge of your game. Okay, so recently we were lucky enough to have the opportunity to meet Justin Rose and spend some time with him down at the kennels at Goodwood. So thanks to Adidas Tailor who invited us down there. Yeah. We actually got to speak to him for 15 minutes at the end and talk golf swing with him, Pierce, which was great to hear mm, some of the things that he's changed over the last few years with his coach, Sean O'Hare, and the reasons for that. So we thought we'd do a video today on those things and sort yeah. of give you a bit of information about how it could improve your golf swing and just give you an understanding of why he would do those things. If you haven't seen that video, click the link here below and you will see the full interview with Justin. So, Pierce, Justin talked about making sort of a few changes. He yeah. was in the backswing phase, then a downswing, and now he's into more of the through swing phase. So, let's go through the, I suppose, the general change of his golf swing yeah. and the reasons why and some of the bad things that would happen in his old golf swing. So, so old golf swing first. Old golf swing first, yeah, okay. and, why, and why he sort of changed this. Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, so old golf swing. So, Justin, as, as you said, felt that his golf swing was too linear. So, on the backswing, basically, that means too upright for how he wanted to swing the golf if he wanted to be more rotary. So his arms were, were getting too high. So yeah, we can see those arms a lot higher than what I would normally do. But then from there, as Justin would start his downswing, as he rotated, he'd feel the club would then move out in front of him too much. And what would happen to drop the club back on plane, he'd have to bring the club behind him. That would mean slowing down the torso, putting the brakes on as they termed yes. it. So as you slow down the torso then, as the arms come down underneath like so, there would be a lot of flip at the bottom, so the hands would flip over. So basically, very upright, club out, reroute it by stopping the lower body, and then flipping the hands and arms, which okay. would obviously, as soon as you get those hands and arms rotating fast through the ball, great for long driving, but maybe not so good for hitting greens. For accuracy, definitely not. So Justin had worked on his backswing phase first, based on yeah. getting the, the backswing more rotary and getting the left arm more across the body in the backswing. So can yeah. you show us that what, what yeah, you did definitely. there? So from here, maybe a little bit more like what perhaps we swing more so now, because we're getting old and <laughs> stiff, maybe. Flexibility's um, going. <laughs> flexibility's going. So from here, yeah, the, the left arm would sit more across the chest and we can see that the arm plane is now very similar to the shoulder plane I would say. So more of a one plane golf swing. If yeah, you've heard definitely. that one plane golf swing this is what it means. The left shoulder is so the left arm is more across the body on the back swing. Yeah so that, that as you said that that's really feel that, that that bicep is sitting on the chest. Okay. Yeah. So this okay. allowed him then Pierce to start the dancing better. Okay then from there obviously he hasn't got to redo any rerouting. As he starts to turn and move his golf swing he would feel as though the left arm would be pinned to his chest. So that basically would look like the arm is running down the chest. So that's pinning into there. So he'd almost get into a position here. You know, ben Hogan, we've always said this, you know, you just smash it from here. Yeah. So from here, he can really rotate hard through the golf ball. And if you're working really hard and rotating hard with your body, you're not having to rotate hard with your hands thus hitting more straight shots. Definitely. So accurate uh, shots. Yeah, and if we can create, as, as Justin said, he wanted to rotate hard through that golf ball, and by having his arms more across his body here, getting it down on plane much quicker, yeah. he could just fire that right side through, and that club face then would stay so much squarer yeah. through the golf ball, which, which means more consistency, okay. which yeah. we all want. We definitely want that. Please, please, please. please. So there's the sort of downswing, the backswing yeah. and the downswing, and then his through swing st stage is a little different. He, yeah, kind of working at that a little bit more now, yeah. isn't he? So it feels quite comfortable with back and downswing, but feels on the down the through swing, there's a little bit of tendency to chase the club down the line, down the target line. So right arm coming away from the body a little bit yeah. too much. Uh, Justin sort of coupled that a little bit, maybe with some a lack of internal hip rotation. So you'll see when Justin swings that he allows for it a little bit by having the left foot flared out. And as he swings, the foot will roll a lot. And he said that mechanically, there's just yeah. issues there in the left hip. It's not a flexibility issue that you can control. It's just the way it is. Yeah. So he's got to allow for work. So, so work. he basically wants to, instead of the club chasing down the line, the feeling of from here that you can just turn through and the club's swinging more. I would say to the left, I don't yeah, think you're the same with that. Yeah, yeah. So the club is moving in from the target line on the way through. Yeah. Whenever we get that club moving more in to the left, again, same sort of thing, feels that face stays squarer for a lot longer. And it feels like it can hit more of a fade from there, which is a lot more controllable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay, some interesting points there. Okay. So, yeah, I think with this, with this video here, I mean, the, the things that we spoke about, we've got kind of a draw. We didn't speak with Justin about this. He may have done this, I don't know. The glove underneath the left armpit is a pretty good way of feeling this because yeah. it kind of hits all areas, doesn't it? So from here, 
if I go too high I'm going to let go of the club so it's going to force me to pin my left arm to my chest more on the way back on the way down definitely and on the way through as I swing left I'm keeping that glove in at any point there's rotation there if any point I go too linear up there the glove will drop maybe if I wasn't so sweaty the glove would, the glove would drop down and obviously the same throughout other areas of the golf swing. Yeah, so you can hit shots on a, I've even seen Tiger do this. Yeah, well, definitely. You can hit shots do this, but it's really to allow much more of a rotary motion yeah. through the, throughout the backswing and the downswing. And when there's more rotation, there's less rotation of the club. And when there's less rotation of the club, there's more hitting greens and more hitting the targets. <laughs> and more US Opens. Correct. <laughs> well done. So can we hit shots like Of course this? we can, Andy. Let's have a go, shall okay. we? So glove stays in, maybe not full power to start with. Just have a few rehearsals getting that backswing in place. From there, pull the trigger. Felt oh, nice. Hey, it's gone dead straight as well. <laughs> Pretty close to that target there, guys. All right, very good. Okay, so hope that helps you. I give you an understanding of the changes Justin would make, and hopefully you can maybe pick out a few things that could help you with your goal swing. Much more of a rotary motion. Yeah, much more rotation. Definitely could help you there. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. But then you've lost all the momentum in the turn. And what happens then? You just flip your hand back. So I start to get the left arm pinned more across my chest so I can then move it all together to obtain the impact and try to stabilize.